You are a fool to trust me! Now face my wrath! <laughs> you believed I was your friend, but the truth I will smack and attack! Yes! What primitive attacks! I would have spared you, but BAM! I will show you my true power! Oh god! Oh god! Am I like fashionable looking now? Let me see. Fashion! Come unto me! Welcome back, dear viewers. Having pilfered, well, no, no, having uh, reclaimed what was rightfully mine this entire time, I am your host, Get Good Fox, and we're doing some more Fallout 3. Huh. Did you know the human body can survive without the. Wait, wait, I've seen this a bajillion times. Um. Oh, it's the last chapter? Ho oh, ho! Oh. Yes. Rivet Cities in particular. It's the most successful survivor settlement around, but no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. Are you so sure anyone would even there and care do some to record this? Um, what's the value of digging up history? You mean, apart from making sure we don't repeat our tragic failures and a yes. never-ending cavalcade of human pathos and suffering? Yes. Let's say... A big pile of mentats. I got a shipment of those in recently. Do a good job, and maybe the people of Rivet City will reward you too. Money, I'll do it. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. Oh, okay. What is the secondary objective? Keep up the great. Learn the history of Rivet City? Is that really that simple? Hmm. 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 Well, boys, looks like it's that time again. Time to find out how far away we need to go. Where is Rivets? Oh, it is. Would it be pretty far away, but I bet we'll be able to use Arlington Library as a shortcut to do the old swim aroni across the river. Seems like, you know, maybe this won't be so bad, actually. Oh yeah, here's a guy I found in between the episodes. His name is Red Talon... <laughs> oh man, that's how you know I've played too much State of Decay. Just like, the, the brain just fills in the blanks. You don't know anything about the Red Talon, do you? Just dumb. Just some like, jiggly wiggly kind of guy. Oh! Yeah, I mean, he fought me honorably with a police baton, so I decided to fight him honorably with my shotgun, and yeah, it just turned out that I, I just got the better of him. Good gravy! This fool has a missile launcher! That is very dishonorable! Oh, it's another... It's another guy from the... What if I shoot your leg? What if I... I need to get closer. There we go. Let's... Yeah, the head seems like a good target. Let's try my brand new 10 millimeter SMG out. Oh no! God, your head is powerful! Oh no! The pain! The pain of exploding is great! This is ungood! Very ungood! If they're going to explode me like a big cheater, I'll need to use my magic juice on them. No, 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 no. I'm not giving you a chance to do that a second. I'm just going to shoot your leg, to be honest. I think that should be enough to finish you up. No. Oh, God, it's heading towards me. Oh, yes, magic juice. Magic. No. Why does he have one hit point left? There we go. Okay. Wait. Let's. Wait, we seem to be in a bit of a scrape here. I was not expecting such a thing to happen. Let me juice back up a little bit. Who are these guys? Who? Wait. I got this as well. I forgot. Oh. I will show you how to fight. You didn't know how to fight until I showed you how. Yes. 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 You also did not know how to fight. Well, you have a lot of. I need to use this. 
Oh no! They have attacks that do a lot of damage. I need to juice back up. Let's try this again. I'll show you! You think you're some kind of, like, advanced thing? I've fought mud crabs larger and tougher than you. I'll show you! What, an agile? No ability to fight with technique? Now you are next. What kind of sniper are you? Terrible accuracy. This thing is it down? There we go. Who is attacking? You? Who is attacking? How dare you? <laughs> Look at his side. Is it dead? Oh, guys, okay. Hi, I'm just dead. Alright, I'm just dead. Is it immune to? Is it like the boss of the game? It's like immune to. Okay. Wow. Wow. A bit of a, like a bit of an ouchies there. Oh my god, Mike. Let me, uh, let me tell you something about this. Oh, there's a. Tri oh, you can get a triangle in a chessboard. Wow, these guys are these guys are living the high life. Holy crap! Now that we were rudely distracted and have overcome this obstacle, it's time to return to the true path. Ah ha! We are here. You know what's funny is when I originally played this game, it took me forever to find the entrance to Rivet City. I was like just going all over the place when all along Oh no. How do you get to the Rivet City? Wait, I see an advertisement over there. That Rivet City advertisement next to the super meaty man body statue. That must be the way in. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh god, what happened to the terrain? It's like, oh, going to womp a jumpus on me. Whoa, whoa, stop a womping and a jumping all over. Who, who are you? Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. You mean a death claw? Is that is that what you're talking about? What do you got for sale? Have a look. You sell combat. Out. Well, I guess if I wanted to restore my combat armor, that wouldn't be too bad. Um, you know what? I think I'll buy these. These for a year. There you go. Could start re replenishing some of those. Yeah. Well, it's time to, like, womp a jump my way over. Holy crap. Oh, God. Oh, no. Hold on a second. I'm going to reload my game before I womp a jump myself into the Shadow Realm. Oh, thank God that fixed it. What is this stuff? I don't know, but it's gross looking. But, yes, reloading the game has cured us of the wampa jumpers. Uh, it's always a very concerning thing. I'm always worried that it's going to cause me to explode and crash. And I'm not giving you any water. I know what he wants. Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. Okay. Now you guys are fancy with your... Who is that over there? Can I... Harkness. Okay. Why does that name sound so familiar? I feel like I've, I've played another game or I have seen a TV show. Harkness. God, it's going to hit me. It's going to hit me where that name is from. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. Um, I'm here to do research on the city. Research, huh? I can't help you there. But you're free to ask around inside. Just don't start any trouble. Um, yeah, sh do you know about... Well, he just said that we can't, but... I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, now do I? I've got to worry about what's happening on it now. Okay, um, why did you decide to live here? We're the safest, most secure city in the wasteland. Nothing can get in here without our say-so. Okay. Carry on. Probably not enough to uh, get this whole thing started, but uh, two entrances. Oh, okay, this one sounds more promising. All righty, so here we are in Rivet City. Got some shops. Okay, that's good. Now I have another place to sell because a lot of the times I I've got too many valuable items and no one to buy it from. What's the big idea? Do I? Do I have a way? Do I have a waypoint? Is there? Huh? Looks like I'm just gonna have to start talking to people. Okay. Hmm. A doctor. 
That sounds interesting. If someone's going to know about the history, it's going to be a brainiac, nerdy type. At the stern, that's the west end of you. Okay, so we need to go west. That's our first, well, I mean, I don't know if it's a lead, but I, I'm just looking for, like, the smartest, brainiest person here. Well, since Rivet City appears to be a massive aircraft carrier, I guess it makes sense that all the halls are just super cramped. Uh, according to the guard, I'm allowed to sleep in the commons room for free, which would be a nice way to restore my health without having to rely on my expensive stim packs. I mean, we've got the cash to replenish them if necessary. Oh, I already do not like this place. It is. Oh, here we go. So I'm, I'm allowed to sleep. Nope. Nope. Wait. Nope. Wait. Nope. Wait. Nope. Wait. Nope. Oh, there we go. I have to say, there's got to be a place I can sleep. There we go. Now we're healed. Time to look for, you know, like you guys are arguing about something. I need to go west, though. Let me... Yeah, west is in this direction, I see. Interesting. Ah, bingo. The science lab. Um... Okay, let's see if we can find some nerds to tell us about the history of this place. Um, Garza, you do not look like a nerd. Uh, you look like a normal... Oh, that person has a lab coat on. Oh, these people all have lab coats lab on. dedicated to solving real problems. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I need to... Oh. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness, that's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. Good to see you. Um... Okay, let's talk to Anna. Hey there. Um, wait, I don't care. Wait, did we need to come here to talk to Ben? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what we learned from Moriarty. Yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. Um, uh, looks like I can't ask you about I, I don't care about that. Here, what about you? You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Oh, very diplomatic. Are you by any chance for hire? Um, that depends. See, see, like this one here is like, uh, you know, uh, you know, like there's no, he, he was being nice about it. Like there's no reason to get aggressive with him. To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Um, what kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you... I'm understand. smarter than you. I've got, like, All nine you intelligence. All know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. So, like a reploid from Mega Man X? They get confused and wander off. Um, we could say, sounds like slavery. You sure they don't wander off on purpose? Interesting. But what's this got to do with me exactly? And enough techno babbles. Let's find out. Like, let's get to the part where we get paid. You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere in the capital wasteland. Wow. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Oh, uh, yeah. What about compensation? Oh, yeah. Here, here we go. Of course. 
I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. Who is the Commonwealth? I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Yeah, I don't have any friends, though. Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll be. Excellent. Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Um, yeah, so I need to know more. What is an android, exactly? Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Well, they really are a reploid for a Mega Man X. Um, so how do I find him? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for Android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surrounding. Sure, sure. Um, uh, you, uh, we, we can follow up with this guy. Do you know <laughs> about the history of Rivet City? Looks to me like a giant boat ran aground and a bunch of savages moved in. History lesson over. <laughs> Oh, can we go back to Moira then? No, probably not. Yeah, yeah, okay, so, um, wasn't there another nerd in here? You, Dr. Lee. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I, it's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? Um... Can, can I ask about the history? Like, how do you know? Do Have we met? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I'm oh, Dr. Madison Lee. There? I worked with your parents many years ago. Now I run the science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. Um... I want to know about... Oh, here we go. What do you know about the city's history? I could tell you all about the science lab, but even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. It all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot of things on my mind since those early days. Oh, okay, so this was a dead end, I feel. I need to find someone who's like a historian of some kind. Hmm... <sighs> Yes, yes, I have things to do, too. Okay, so now I'm going to check out the Muddy Rudder, which I believe is a bar. Maybe we can find someone in here who knows yeah. something about the history of the city. I'll check back in just a moment. History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. No, I can't fucking well share one. Oh my god, I can't believe what I'm are you? But fine. It'll get you out of my face. Go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. If he decides to give you a history lesson, it's no business of mine. Now get the hell out of my bar. I, I just, I pulled that as a shot in the dark. I'm like, 39%? I mean, I mean, it's close to a half and half, but, um... Interesting. So I guess we've learned a sort of cursory history of Rivet City, basically, that people don't know much about it. It was always here. But it seems like uh, it seems like we can do a little bit of additional research, and I don't see why not. Oh, check this out. The Capital Preservation Society. That sounds promising. Sounds like it might have something to do with history. Oh, how do we get there? Alrighty, so... Interesting. This does look like a like a museum of sorts, I suppose. Welcome to the Capital Preservation Society. Yes, you've got to know Quite something about the history of this place. Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. Um, yeah, um, sure. Let's, let's make sure we stay polite. Ah, 
A fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. Oh, what's that? In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the Wait, day the United the Judgmental States of America Congress? earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. Ah, oh, be oh, okay. Let me take a leap of faith here. You want me to find it? Indeed, I do. Without the Declaration, the rest of these relics are almost meaningless. I must have it. Acquire the document for me, and you'll be awarded most handsomely. What do you think? How do we even know it survived? Okay, uh, what's the reward? You'd secure your place in history. The man who rediscovered the Declaration of Independence. Imagine the fanfare. Um, yeah, what's the reward, though? Sorry, my mind tends to wonder. I will see to it that you receive a worthwhile trade. I have in my possession the only known schematic for the creation of something called the Railway Rifle. Oh, you have Bring my the attention now. And it's yours. Very good, very good. I'd love to be a part Excellent. of history. You won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. Um, can yeah, give me the map in location. The ruins, oh, this is a major find the quest. National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. Hmm. Didn't know they liked here, to read. Let me pinpoint its location for you. Um. Oh, here we go. Do you know the history of Rivet City? It's funny now that you ask. I can tell you all about the capital, but I really haven't got any idea about Rivet City. What? I can't see how important it is compared to the capital's history, but maybe Bannon might know something. He's in the governing council, after all. This is the second time I've heard of this Bannon guy. Be careful. No one will tell me who Bannon is. Damn it, I thought I had it. Oh, it's not the past of the city that I dwell upon, but the future of its inhabitants. But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject. Okay, now we've got two names. Oh, Welcome Mr. Bannon, I presume. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Good. Do you, do you have discriminating um, knowledge? Um, okay. Let, let's let's between them up. you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. Yeah, um, the history. Yes, yes, yes. Do you know the history of Rivet City? Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here twelve years ago, it was just a handful of dead enders squatting in a rusted out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Oh, God, I can easily do this. Hasn't Rivet City been around for longer than 12 years? Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. That's all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. Okay, so we kind of got things in reverse there. That's fine, though. Come back soon. So now we're looking for a uh, Miss Weatherly. Sounds like an old person by the name, but not necessarily. Uh, a young person could have the I name as well. Wait, look at this. The Weatherly Hotel. Bingo. I think we've got our next lead. Aha! Miss Vera, I presume. Here, let's, let's sit down and discuss things like civilized Welcome people. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Um... Okay, let's just take this, and they're just giving it to me. Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? He's addicted to chems. His poor wife, Cindy, is at her wit's end. Man, this is really not that interesting. Um... You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. 
Well, this is really mundane stuff. Okay, okay, whatever. Just tell me about the history of this city. Well, I could tell you all about my hotel. But I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Uh, is there anyone else who knows more? Actually, now that you mention it, Seagrave may know more about it. I just passed He's him. been here Damn since it. he was just a boy. And I can't imagine anyone knows this ship better than he does. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're Seagrave. Nice yes, 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 yes. I'm Seagrave. Yes. Seagrave Holmes. I have a what little is that of just about word? everything here. You look here. so goofy. Um, oh, you got a T-51B. Then you don't have everything. A what? Look, if you just want to crack wise, go somewhere else. But if you've got stuff you want to sell, then I'm your man. Anyways, yeah, the history. Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. But I never really cared about the politics. Hmm, <clears throat> can you think of anyone from back then that might know? Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. And he must have left about a decade ago, after that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken-off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. Uh, but what about Vera? She said you'd know. She did? Well, I suppose I've picked up a lot over the years. I mean, no one's spent more time tinkering on this old girl than I have. Oh, Rivet City, I mean. Not Vera. I mean, Vera's not old. And I haven't tinkered on her, obviously. Not that I wouldn't. I mean... Oh, great. This is socially no. awkward. Anyway, you might find some clues in Pinkerton's place, in the broken-off bow. He was around before me and used to store stuff there before he left. So it seems like everything is... Oh, okay, we actually just completed it then. I see, see you later. Yeah, cross-referenced everything. I believe all paths are converging on one logical thing. We need to find this Pinkerton fellow. All right, good news. I have found the an entrance, so I, somehow I just need to get over here. Let me go ahead and place a marker there. So now I know where I need to go. The question now is how exactly to get to it. Very interesting. This is the top of the aircraft carrier. Looks like it contains a large number of uh, what appear to be VTOLs. Um, do I really need to jump over there? Is this... Th this I don't know if this is the right way to do it. I, I don't really remember this quest too well. Um, almost fell off as it is. Um, I can always fast travel back, you know, like there's no harm in... Well, there's potentially a lot of harm, actually. <laughs> there's potentially a lot of harm. There's no, obviously, I cannot possibly make... The oh, show. no! Oh, 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 oh! Okay, 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 okay. We made it down. Is there a way back up is the next question. Huh, is this the entrance? Why wasn't I able to get in here? I see. It is locked. Hmm, I wonder if there is a key or something or maybe an alternative entrance in there or do I simply need to have 100 lockpicking? I feel like that would be a little unfair. There must be another way in. Okay, so I have searched all of the exterior. It doesn't look like it could jump across. I... I don't think that it would expect me to pick a, a, one, a lock level 100. One thing I haven't done is check underwater, though. I know that in these Bethesda games, they do that. So this is my last chance to try and figure something out. After that, um, I might look up how to do it. Oh, bingo. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think this is it, boys. Oh my god, thank god my, like, subnautica instincts came into play. Oh, oh, I'm still in the, I'm still in the water. I'm still in the water. I'm still in the water. Oh no. Drowning is the opposite of good. No, okay. Um, uh, is there a place that... 
There's... Oh. I'm stupid. That's the problem. I'm, I'm stupid. Oh my god, okay. Okay, we made it. We made it. I need to heal up real fast. I don't know what enemies are in here, but, like, they're... I'm just... Can we play? Like, why did I... I could have just drank water. Why, why am I using my stim packs? Like, like I'm afraid of ratty. Wait, how do I get... Where do I go? Huh. Wait, this is a... De debris and rubble is just really messing me up right now. Okay, um... Wow, this place is absolutely dilapidated. Hmm. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Ah. Here, let me just ah, take these guys out real quick. Ah. Ah. That's right. Don't. Ah. Oh. Let me just get me some of my health back. <laughs> let me just... Yes. Yes. The radiation is fake. It does not do anything to me. All I must do is absorb it to heal myself. <laughs> okay, so we're officially on completely dry terrain. I... This is a really weird place to be, Mr. Pinkerton, if you're even here. Um... Hmm. Gonna keep looking, I guess. Hmm. We found a strange door. The door is activated elsewhere. Wow, this whole place is like a dumb puzzle. <laughs> oh, I think I found a button. Please open. Yes, yes, yes. That's somebody right there. Oh, Mr. Pinkerton, I presume. How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. Um, can you tell me about the city history? What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. No, 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 I, um, yeah, let's see. I hear you're the only one who knows the truth about River City's founding. But you've been here for so long, it's for a book. Here, this one here. Ha. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. Okay, yes, yes, that's exactly what I want to do. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck about 40 years ago. Okay. They were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Interesting. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. So, you, is that, is that what you're suggesting? That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell, if I'm leaving the city, I made great. Um, do you have any evidence for all this? Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here, they probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. Okay, I think we got it. <laughs> don't let your guard down. Okay, I'm getting, I've had enough of this place. This, this recording is technically like an over an hour and 30 minutes long. Like I've spent a lot of time wandering around this dang place and I'm ready to wrap things up. Moira, it took a lot of work, but give me you my reward. You want out how Rivet City got started? Um, yes, after a lot of searching, we did it. Aha, uh -huh. not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. And does it come with real so, payment? So, tell me all about it. Okay, so we can say it began as a successful science station and traders settled in around it. 
The Brainiac one is, it's begun as a research station, which is why it's still a scientific haven. The Strength one is, they cleared out the Meyer Alerts, then the science folks came in and rest moved like blah, blah, blah. The Charisma one is, hmm, yes, it had a success as a science station, and people flock to success. And then some old coot says he took these notes, they seem reasonable enough. Um, let's go ahead with the, the Brainiac one. Hmm. With the protected location and resources that came from those scientific advances, I can definitely see how it grew so quickly. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. For the next time, you've got to be quick on your wits. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Oh, I want the sound of that. Oh my gosh. Look, I think we're done. Well, lucky for you, we're done. And for all your nasty attitude, I think the quips made it a lot more entertaining to read. That's bound to help. For See, all your I, hard I'm work, I want you to have this mini new. I kept um, meaning to use it to dig a well, but honestly, it just makes me nervous. That's because you're afraid of radiation. Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks, and it'll be ready to print and distribute. Thanks for all the help. Oh my gosh. Um, oh no. Let me guess. You need me to go print and distribute. No! So cynical. No, no. I can take care of all that with the few traders I know. What makes you think I'd force you to handle something so dangerous? Oh, as long now, as I you should to do just it. lie back and bask in the praise for helping with the book. Uh, that certainly was an epic piece of work. So this is the fun, well, the primal, the blah, this this choice. Oh my, it's it's brilliant. Even I'm astounded by my genius. Oh no, 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 it's more than that. By our genius, I'll share these with the traders, and soon. Everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. But now, the very first copy of our book goes to you. It wouldn't nearly be as good without your input. I mean, just You're wouldn't have the a book real at all. Wasteland Survival Guru. Yay! Survival perk added. As a result of your painstaking research for the Wasteland Survival Guide, your survival skills have improved. Yay! <laughs> oh man, that took a lot of work. Like I, I really wait. I'm, I'm. Oh, you know, I'll take care of it later. But at last, it's finally done. I'm just so beat. I'm so tired. Oh my god, this quest actually took. Of all the quests we did, this one actually took some effort. I spent so long getting lost in the maze of Rivet City, just going around in circles, reading the signs. So much of the episode is just going to be trimmed out of me just wandering around the stupid city. Oh my god, it's finally done. That doesn't mean Megaton is time is up yet, though. Like we still have one more thing to do. We have that quest for Lucy West. I did agree to help her. Wouldn't want to just detonate things prematurely. I never detonate prematurely. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Oh, this is the end. The Sur Wasteland Survival Guide finally complete. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section. What you do is subscribe for more for future. Of course, remember to be good to be good.